hey everyone um what's up today is friday i'm excited i just got off work and i'm gonna have a girls night with me my sister her friends my best friend candace and winona and we're gonna do some art so before all that i just wanted to come on here really quickly and give you guys a little update on my life and what's been going on so i feel like a lot personally has been changing for me in terms of how i feel about myself and what direction i want to take this channel in and just my personal path in general and i wanted to share that with you guys for one to keep you in the loop because i make videos so far apart sometimes that like so much happens in between then and now and two maybe sharing my experience what i'm going through will help you or inspire you or validate you in some way so i want to start off first with what I'm learning, what I'm going through, what's happening in my life. So I feel like this mindset or this topic is really layered. It was really progressive. So it started, you know, slowly over the course of time. But I think there was one really pivotal moment in all of that that really shook things up and shifted how I feel about myself and which direction I want to go creatively with this channel and with just everything else in my life. So about a month ago, I started learning how to read soul contract charts. I took a whole course and I became really involved in the modality and it really resonated with me. If you don't know what a soul contract is, it's basically a, it's a spiritual modality kind of comparable to an astrological reading, but not at all it's based on sound frequency and vibration it basically shows you the frequencies it, that your soul chose to incarnate with here on this earth by using your birth name and it shows you those aspects so that you can become more um, aligned with your soul's vibration and your soul's purpose and what you're here to do on this earth it's a really loaded topic um so i can make and i probably will end up making a separate video or a series of videos on that whole topic at a different point in time but for now just for the story's purpose that's what it was that's what i learned about myself um you probably wouldn't know it from the channel maybe a little bit if you don't know me personally but i'm a really spiritual person i always have been i just haven't really had the confidence to express that side of myself and it was actually like really scary for me to even think about expressing that part of myself it's just something i've always kept hidden or in the background or denied and it's in my chart it's you can see it in my chart i have a tendency to deny my spirituality or my spiritual gifts and i don't want to share that part of myself but it's part of my talents too which means i'm here to express it and i'm here to share that with the world so to continue on the soul contract another frequency i have in my chart is the 3-3 frequency which is all about writing communication sharing deep topics um and basically expressing it to the world being in the spotlight um the karmic aspect so the negative aspect of that frequency so every frequency has a positive and negative aspect the negative aspect is that i struggle with feelings of self-worth which i've dealt with my whole life for no real reason at all like at all like i've always been you know pretty good at everything i try i I've, i was a straight a student that there, there was no real reason i guess physically why I should have struggled with those it was just something internal that I've dealt with for my whole life and knowing that and seeing that in my chart was very very extremely validating for me and I'm here to overcome that challenge I'm here to overcome that so that I'm able to express my writings and my um, spiritual side with the world and to continue on that there's other frequencies in my chart that talk like our talents are basically our god-given abilities and our god-given gifts um and that's really get what's going to lead us to an abundant and like a fruitful life right so if we're misaligned with that we're gonna probably not have the most um abundant life like maybe we might experience working really hard for something but not seeing any results and a reason for that is probably be because probably because we're not aligned with our god-given gifts and abilities so mine are all about writing sharing 
spiritual insights, sharing wisdom, and a lot of writing. <laughs> like writing is all over my chart. Um, so that's what I've learned about myself. And I've, I've known that about myself. I've always been a writer, but seeing it in the chart and how I'll, I could probably put it up here. I'll probably just put the two triangles. Cause if you have the whole chart, it's like my whole life, but seeing how the energy flows and how we can overcome certain challenges was extremely helpful for me in my life. And what I realized was I was fighting myself to fit into a box of what I think I should be or what society tells us we should be doing, right? And I think a lot of us are doing that unconsciously. We are just molding to this, these boxes that people put us in. It doesn't even need to be society at large. It could be your family members, um, your school, like your religion, anything like, uh, that's putting you in a box and you don't feel like you resonate with that box. So how is all of that affecting me? After that information was revealed to me, I literally felt like I entered a new fucking dimension. Like I'm not kidding. Everything in my life that wasn't working, that wasn't aligned, started shaking itself up like this the house I live in for example when I bought it I knew I was like I don't really like this place like it's not my style of yard like I'm grateful for it and we had to find a place at the time but deep down I knew it's like this is not the vibe this is not the place that I want to be for the next however long like I don't want to be here long but I dealt with it because I felt stuck in some capacity but that became started to become more revealed to me and i was like i gotta get out of here now this place is not working anymore so that's kind of what started shifting in my life for me was just things that weren't working were being revealed the house is just one example uh my job i was like i can't do this much longer like how i i type for eight hours a day on a computer that's insane like what else do you do for eight hours a day straight besides working a job you don't even do things you like for eight hours a day like it just is not making sense to me so that became to the arose to the surface as well my relationship became a little bit tumultuous in through our communication like we weren't communicating as well as we had in the past and that became revealed so it could be healed and fixed right so that's just an example of my personal life of what was becoming revealed to me and i also started having a lot more confidence in myself and my gifts and my abilities i was like well it's in my chart if that's really what i'm here to do then i need to do that if i'm really here to share my spiritual wisdom share my gifts through my writing and help people learn about themselves or or learn about um, those deeper spiritual concepts, then what am, I, what am I doing this whole time? Like, I need to do that. So I began to claim those aspects of myself. I began to claim, I am a master communicator. I do trust my gifts. I am a good writer. I am, um, what else is it? Great, intuitive. I am intuitive. I do have these abilities and I'm claiming them. And I'm going to do something about them because acting on our gifts is being of service to the world and to other people. And that's ultimately my goal in life is to not only do it for myself because it brings me deep, genuine fulfillment, but for other people too. Like it helps other people. It helps the world by you acting on your talents and your gifts. You are literally a little light in the world and that's what we all need to do. So another huge theme that was revealed to me was authenticity. I am discovering how to be more authentic in all, all aspects of my life. And it's not to say that I wasn't authentic before, it's just I wasn't sharing the whole story, right? Like I wasn't sharing, I, kind of sharing the ups and the downs, but I wasn't being my full expression. I wasn't allowing my full self to be shown 
to the world because it's scary and you put yourself in a vulnerable position but in my chart i have to learn how to do that i'm here to learn how to be authentic and because of that theme i started thinking hmm which direction do i want to go creatively with my channel with what I'm producing in the world and what I'm doing and I realized vlogs and product reviews were a really good way for me to get in front of the camera get used to the camera get used to my family being around me as a vlogger or me as a content creator but sharing products is just not authentic for me like I don't want to just share products all day like that's not fun I don't want to do that. I want to share my deep inner spiritual wisdoms with poetry and writing. That's what I want to do. And I want to talk to you guys. I want to talk and share the things I'm learning and how I'm growing. I don't, I don't want to share products off Amazon. I don't want to do that. So I'm not going to do it. And vlogs, I really do like vlogs. However, they're like very tedious and time consuming. Right now with my schedule and just like everything that I've got going on, it's... It's also just not fitting. It's not aligned. It's not aligning right now. And I want to, my foot's asleep. Oh, by the way, I got this shirt off Depop. It's so cute. Okay, and also sorry about the lighting. The sun is slowly setting. It is, the sun goes down so early now. It's so lame. Um, where was I? Vlogs. Yeah, they're just really tedious and time consuming. And right now with my schedule, it's just like taking way too long to get content out. And I, I just don't want to rely on vlogs um, to be my consistent form of content. I want to go more creative and more talking videos like this and just share my knowledge with you guys. And like I was saying, it's they're just not authentic. Like they're not aligned. Like look at my first couple videos, like uh, the get ready with me video in specific. I barely even do my makeup. Like uh, I don't even do my makeup different. I don't care about makeup. I just, I buy my makeup from CVS. I do my makeup the same every day. That's not an authentic way for me to express myself. But I will say that it was extremely helpful for me to have a prompt to learn. So I, I acknowledge my past self as that version of myself was learning how to create content, how to become confident, how to share yourself with an audience in some way, right? So I'm not knocking myself or not hating on myself for, for being at that point because I, everybody starts somewhere. Everybody has to learn and grow and, you know, turn into their full form. But I'm just sharing my mindset on that and kind of giving you guys a little bit of a comparison so you can see exactly what I was talking about. And I just want to say for anyone else, for anyone else, for anyone else out there who is doing YouTube or content, I want to share this one point. You do not need to stick to a single niche or video type to be successful. I know everybody and their damn grandmas and their moms are going to tell you otherwise. Um, but if just, if just creating income is the goal, then yeah, I mean, do it. But if it's not aligned for you, it's not going to work, right? We have to be activating our talents and what we are born on this earth to do. So it works for some people, but it's not going to work for all people. It's okay to change direction with your creative projects, with your content, with who you are. It's all a learning process and it's okay to be a dynamic person with multiple interests. That is what makes you unique. That is what makes you you. And I'm not saying that people with only one interest are not unique. What I'm saying is if you have multiple interests and you want to share all of them, you can. You, you shouldn't be afraid to express all facets of yourself if that's what you want to do. Like you don't need to cut out, um, I don't know, let me give an example. So I write poetry, I sometimes do collaging, I do um, YouTube. Oh, this is a really good one. I'm a mom, but I don't need to only talk about mom content to be successful. You don't have to stick to one particular niche to be successful. You need to be yourself. But overall, try new things and take note on how you feel doing those things and keep doing what feels comfortable and what feels fun. That's the goal. Follow your heart. Here's my, che my cheesy line. Follow your heart. But it's true. You just gotta follow your heart. Alright, so what can you expect from 
me and from this channel. I will still be sharing my life as a mother because it's part of me. I will still be sharing vlogs to some degree or in some capacity, but I will probably use more artistic ways of displaying those things and and my poetry to share like my deep intuitive thoughts about my experiences that i'm having in the world and as a mother and as a person and as a woman i will probably also do more sit down and talk videos like this one because i like them and they're fun and they feel good to me so that's what i'm gonna keep doing and the editing process for these types of videos is a lot less tedious and I feel like there's a lot more helpful information in these types of videos and that's what I'm here for. Also, I started a new Instagram account where I'll be sharing my art and my poetry so you can follow me here. That's my tag. And I have a couple of other projects in the works like a podcast with my best friend where we talk about similar topics, how we are working on ourselves and growing and what we're experiencing in the world. Um, Poetic short films. That's what I want to do. That's how I want to share my poetry with the world apart from just typing it up I want to make visuals. I want to make art for them. So that's on my list and Lastly, I started doing soul contract readings So if you are interested in learning about your soul contract or what's in it And if you want to get a reading with me send me a DM on Instagram. I don't have a, I don't have shit set up yet So just we going through the DMs just send me a DM and we can get it set up all right how can this information help you so if you don't have a soul contract reading ask yourself what are you good at what are you naturally good at what brings you genuine joy and genuine fulfillment like what is just like so natural to you that you don't even have to think twice about it i would start there and if you don't know try new things and find out the foundation though is usually always there we just don't trust that those talents are valuable enough to provide us with the life that we want or that they're valuable enough to provide us with abundance, right? So the foundation is always there, you just gotta find it and trust it. Also, take a deep look at your life and as why did it go blurry? There we go. Hi Luna. Also take a deep look at your life and assess the things that are and that aren't girl that aren't working. You're never stuck, even though you may feel like you are stuck, you're not. Um, you just have to be creative and think outside the box and not give a shit what other people think of you because it's not their life, it's yours. And you have to live it every day. You have to live with yourself. So keep doing you and following what you like to do. Lastly, last, lastly, I just want to say thank you so much for all 496 of you that um, are in the YouTube fam and that are here for the journey. Um, I'm grateful for you guys. I really appreciate the support and I'm really, really, really excited about where this new path and this new mindset is gonna take me and I'm excited for you guys to see it as well. All right, well, I gotta go. It's girls night, gotta get ready. Well, I am ready, but I gotta clean the house and we'll see you next time.